Right, question 13. So we're told we've got two ASEAN totes. Now, this one comes from this point just here. So we know that x equals 2 is an asymptote associated with this one. All right, so x obviously cannot be minus 3. So it's got to be this one here. So in other words, when x is 2, this is going to be equal to 0. So 4 take away q must be 0. So therefore, q must be 4. Now to get the other point. Now the other point we need to think of is we can, we can use this coordinate that we know that lies on the line. So if we put in 3 for x and a half for y, so we know a half equals, so p take away 3 times 3, which is 9, and then we've got 2x minus 4, remember that's 4. And it tells us here, all right, so even if you can't explain that, then you can still use it. So Let's go and use that. So 2 times 3 minus 4. So obviously that's 2. And then 3 add 3 is going to be 6. So times 6. So multiply both sides by 12. So that gives us 6 equals P take away 9. Add 9 to both sides. And P equals 15. Now what's important at this stage is just to write down what we know. We know what P is, and we know what Q is. Now even if you couldn't do these things, still write that down because that's going to help with the next stage of the question. All right, so when we're told information, even if you can't show it, just write it in. So that's where we've got to at the moment. Okay, so what comes next? Right, so let's read on with, with the next bit of the question. Nice juicy eight marks with this next bit of the question. So it's, it's trying to work out the area just here. So we need to know what this point is here. In other words, when is this equal to zero? Well, when's this going to equal zero? It's going to be when this bit equals zero. So 15 minus 3x, when is that equal to 0? So add 3x to both sides and divide by 3, and I think you'll find x equals 5. So we've got our 5. Right, so what's the question? The question is integrate this between 3 and 5. So we're going to integrate these limits, and we're going to just work on this here. So clearly, a little bit of work to do. So 2x minus 4, x plus 3. There we go. We're going to do that. Right. Now, in order to do this, you've got a spot. Well, that's horrible to integrate unless we use partial fractions. Now, I'm, I'm not going to do the partial fraction bit for you, but if you need to practice partial fractions, obviously go and practice them. Um, this is a relatively simple partial fraction to go and do. Um, but it's spotting that you've got to write it in partial fractions. That's, the, that's like the, the tricky bit, I suppose. So in partial fractions, that's going to give you... So I'm just going to give you the answer to this bit. So we're going to have 9 over 10, so it's minus 2, and then take away 12, 5, x plus 3, and we're going to integrate this. Right, now I can do this bit, okay? So if I integrate this, and obviously I, I would be writing this on the rest of my page. I'm only writing it here just so you can kind of see it next to the question. So if we integrate this, it's going to be 9 temps, then x minus 2, take away 12 fifths of ln x plus 3. And then we just need to feed in the limits of 5 and 3. Now the easiest thing to do at this stage is just to, it's just to write the thing out. Right, let's just stick 5 in, stick 3 in. All right, see what that gives us. So we can have... 9 temps of ln 3. And don't worry about trying to work stuff out for a minute. Let's just do one thing at a time. And then ln 
8. We'll worry about LUN 8 in a minute, because if you look at this, we're trying to get it in 2s and 3s. And then we're going to take away 9 tenths of LUN 1. And then we're going to take away the, the second part, so it's actually going to become a plus. And then that's 12 fifths of LUN 6. Right, now let's just try and think about, well, that bit there, that's just going to be 0. So I don't need to worry about that. Right, LUN 8. LUN 8 is LUN 2 multiplied by 3. So it's going to be 36 over 5, 9 tenths, learn 3. So we're not going to worry about this bit. Now we need to try and think about how to write LUN 6. Well, LUN 6 is LUN 2 plus LUN 3. I'm just using my log laws. OK, now let's write the whole thing out. I'm going to write everything out over 10 because obviously we've got some fractions there and it's just going to make life a little bit easier for us. So 9 tenths, learn 3, take away 72 tenths, learn 2, plus 24 over 10, learn 2, plus that's going to be 24, 10, learn 3. And if I combine these together, well, how many learn 3s have I got? I got 33 over 10, LUN 3, and then I'm going to take away, because it's 72, 24, so that's uh, 48, over 10, LUN 3. Now, if you just look to see how it wants the answer written, so we're just going to write that first bit as decimal, just so it's in the, in the same format as what we've got there. And so what we're going to do is just write this down here. There you go. So actually, quite a nice eight marks, all right? There's lots going on there. You might need to go and look at the partial fractions if you're not sure about that part. Um, so lots going on. There we go.